Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nastasia. If you're new here, I'd love it if you would subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and TikTok if you haven't done so as well. I have just been obsessed with TikTok recently. I'm posting on there every single day and I would love to have you guys. For today's video, I'm sharing with you guys more Amazon home favorites. A ton of you guys requested for me to do these every single week, so that is what we are doing. My wallet, however, is screaming and my bank accounts are not too happy with me. But but I have been loving the finds that I have been finding. As always, the links to everything will be in the description box down below for you guys to check out. Without further ado, we can just jump right into it. All right, so this is something that I've seen around for a while and I like immediately wanted it when I first saw it, but I was like, let me just wait. And it's been in the back of my mind ever since I saw it. Now I am totally into like having like that moody, cool, calm bedroom vibe when it's time to go to bed. Like I love mood lighting and certain things like that in the bedroom. So when I saw this, I was like, that would be really cool just to give like a cool vibe, some really nice ambiance. And I picked it up and that's just this like fire diffuser. So it basically looks like a fire pit, like the way that it like diffuses and has like little lights to it. It's just so cute and so cool. And I just wanted to try it out and I've absolutely been in love with it. So if you've been thinking about purchasing it too, definitely check it out because it is amazing and you absolutely need it. The next item is on trend with the ever so popular Japandi style, which is kind of just like gone viral over the past few years. I absolutely love this style. I think it's perfect. I think it's very beautiful. And I love like taking pieces and inspiration from it. So when I saw this lamp on Amazon, I was like, that is perfect and it doesn't break the bank. Now I've seen these lamps elsewhere and they are very, very pricey. They're usually a few hundred dollars. So finding one, I believe this one was around the hundred dollar mark. Don't quote me because the price might be different in your country and I don't really like saying prices because Amazon always fluctuates the prices. It's not really Amazon, it's the seller of these items. They're allowed to fluctuate the price. So if it's not that price anymore, I am sorry. But it was an affordable deal at the time that I am filming this video, but I absolutely love this. So it comes in a few different options. I opted to get the floor one. Now I plan on pairing this with the new Ikea mirror that just came out. I need to go back to the store and get it. The Hubbit that has the black trim and then having this on the floor next to it for my little room makeover that I'm gonna be doing. You guys will see that shortly. Um, I'm super excited about it. So they have it in like a table lamp and then they have like a smaller version of the table lamp. There's a few different options, but I just thought that this one fit my room perfectly and I really think it's good quality, especially for the price. All right, next up is something that I'm super excited about and that is just a faux dragon tree. Now I get so many questions about the trees behind me. They are dragon trees, but they are real. And everyone asks, I'm looking for a dragon tree. I went to my local hardware store. They don't look like yours. Well, that is because mine are several years old. These trees look better as they age. They also are worth a ton of money when they get older. They can range you anywhere from $500 to 2000 bucks. Just being honest. When you keep them and let them grow and let them age, it is insane. But I wanted to see if I could find one that was faux just because my bedroom does not have the right climate or the right lighting to make one of these be healthy and grow properly. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. And when I got it in the mail, it was even more perfect. So if you're in the market for one of these and you have like kids or pets, or you just don't want the upkeep of plants because these are very finicky as well, I will tell you that much. Um, they have like a mind of their own. They're, they're not the easiest to take care of. So if you are interested in them, just know that. But this faux one requires no watering and no care. So if you're in the market for a faux plant, this is one of my new favorites. All right, I know the next thing is like one of those overdone trends and I know a lot of people don't like it. But when I saw that this was in travertine, that changed the game for me. So this is a little interlocked chain decor piece but it's not marble and it's not your usual wood, it is travertine. I thought that that just made it 10 times cuter and I was like, oh, this made that trend so much better for my home. So if you don't like it, I apologize, but if you do and you want something just a little bit different and more unique, I haven't seen a travertine one before, so when I saw this, I screamed a little. It looks perfect on top of my books in my entryway, and I definitely think you should pick it up. All right, next up is just this small, standard, little, tiny taper. 
uh, candle holder, but I actually got this because I was like, wait, this would be a really cool little decor piece to put a stick of Palo Santo in. I thought that that would be cute. I have that Palo Santo little diffuser that you guys saw that I recently got, but I like to keep that out in the living room. I just wanted something a little bit more simple for my bedroom or my bathroom, and I thought that this would be perfect. Obviously, this is a candle holder, so you can totally put a tapered candle in it. I'm just using it in a different way, but I do love the quality of it. The marble is amazing. All right, next up is kind of more of just like an essential that I needed. I needed to pick up more of these. They are awesome. These are just the tissue box covers. Uh, I think these are awesome. I have really bad allergies, really bad asthma. I need tissues all the time. So that is definitely something that I like to keep on hand and tissue boxes are just super, super ugly. I did see like, I don't know if you guys saw this trend going around TikTok where people were taking vases and then putting the tissues in the vases. And I thought that that was cool and unique, but then I realized if you pull the tissue like too hard, uh, you could totally drop like the glass vase and we know how clumsy I am. So I opted to just pick up more of these. I got a white and a neutral one, but they do come in like whatever color you want super affordable and just an easy, easy way to spice up your home. All right, next up, I finally got my hands on this tray. I had talked about it in several videos. I posted about it on TikTok, never officially got my hands on it, but today I was like, I'm pulling the trigger on this because I've wanted it for so long and it is absolutely perfect. So that is just this really nice veiny marble tray. Um, I think the price point is amazing considering this uh, type of marble, like blew up like it is everywhere it's in everyone's kitchen and everything and it is so expensive if you are going to go and look for that stuff for your kitchen and your countertops uh be prepared to literally spend so much money so if you want something that looks like it i would recommend this tray because it's just super simple so I had had that in my cart for so long and I was like, you know what, just buy it, buy it today. All right, next up is something that I've seen all over TikTok. It's one of those viral TikTok pieces and I was like, oh, oh, okay, you need to purchase this. It is so cute. So this is a little clear tote handbag, but it's actually a floral vase. Tell me that this is not the absolute cutest thing you have ever seen. I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh. Um, Forgive me because I forgot to go to Trader Joe's and get fresh flowers to show it to you all cute with fresh flowers in it. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in it to show you in this video, um, but I don't think I have time to go to Trader Joe's to show you with flowers. So I'm just gonna show you the photo of what it will look like with flowers in it, if that's okay with you guys. Um, but you need it. You might need more than one. This is another one of those pieces, like this would make the cutest gift to someone. Like if you're not gonna buy it for you, buy it for someone else and put some flowers in it and go make their day because that vase is just absolutely the cutest thing I've ever seen. All right, next up is this simple little tiny small marble dish. I was definitely attracted to it because the edges are like rough and imperfect. I thought that this would be super cute and just kind of like a spinoff of your like typical marble bowl. I have one of these from Crate and Barrel, but it's more of like a creamy nude color. So I needed something a little bit more white to kind of do better organization in my bathroom. So this is what I chose and I do love the raw texture of it. All right, next up this month, like did I need this mug no did I buy it of course it is so cute like look at the face on this tell me you wouldn't just like immediately buy this now I just thought it was so cute and the texture on it it's very neutral like it's so my style but it's also a cute face so I knew that somebody watching this video would absolutely love this so I was like I need to show this in this video I just got one um, it's so cute, I honestly might buy a second so I have a pair, uh, but I just wanted to see what it looked like once I got it. All right, and then you guys remember that I had this cutting board before? Love the shape of it, a cutting board. So I just bought another one because I love it so much. The shape on this is perfect. So I bought this one and then I bought the black one to pair with it. These leaned next to each other are the perfect duo for any kitchen. So if you're in the market for them, they are really good quality as well. And I like it so much, I lost it and bought another one. So that says a lot about this cutting board. All right, and last but certainly not least are these cute little canisters that I saw. You guys know I love Bloomingville and Creative Co-op. I think they have the best decor on Amazon. So I'm always searching on there. And I saw these and I thought that these were super cute. So again, doing some organization in my bathroom and I thought that these would be really great options to use and kind of see if they worked or not. These are also perfect to have in a kitchen with like spices and stuff. If you literally pair those two cutting boards, that mug and then these little canisters, you've got the perfect like little neutral kitchen setup. 
looks amazing. All right, I think that's everything I wanted to share with you guys for today's video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to follow me over on TikTok and Instagram and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more. The links to everything are always in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.